I just received this in the mail. It is the original Prusa i3 Mark III S Plus 3D printer. I'm going to check it out. I've read many reviews. I watched a lot of videos on this thing and it's very highly rated. So I'm anxious to put it together and see what it can do. Let's get started. This gummy bears. Look at that. They give you gummy bears. Wow. Gold Byron. Haribo gummy bears. Kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of Haribo. Wow, look at that. It's a good touch. Like that. I have a bunch of boxes here. I have no idea what any of them do right now, where they go and how they are put together. So I have to read this massive assembly book and hopefully at the end of it, I'll have a printer. So let's get started. All right, so I finished assembling the printer. I'm going to get it calibrated now. I'm going to use this handbook here, the 3D printing handbook that came with it. It's gonna help me get calibrated and get to that first print to test out how this thing works, what I need to do, and that's pretty well it. So let's get started on that. For the last few days, I've been testing out this printer and I find it amazing. Once I got the calibration right, uh, the printing bed temperature, the nozzle temperature, everything seemed to be printing fine. Uh, I had some trouble trying to stick the prints to the bed at first, but then I used a little glue stick and it seems to work perfectly. So I'm gonna stick with that method for now. And I find that it's a really great printer. I mean, I printed some, uh, you know, I guess knickknacks if you wanna call it at first. This is called Benchy. Anybody who has a 3D printer who has 3D printed before knows about Benchy. You just test all the different angles and the method that you can print uh, for the accuracy and the finish of the product. And I think it's a really good example because it has all different features. It has circles, it has sharp edges, it has smooth edges, it has angles in the air, and it just seems to work nicely. So that's a good benchmark for the printer. I printed a whistle that seems to work. Uh, I printed a phone holder, so there you go. Seems to work nicely as well. And then I got into the more functional items like a wrench. It didn't really work properly. It's supposed to work uh, where this thing turns and the size of the wrench increases and decreases, but the spinning part seems to get stuck. So I'm gonna to have to make some modifications to that to see how I can get it to work properly, but a really functional tool and really one of the benefits of 3D printing, it's a really great thing to have. Then I'm getting into, I made a few gears where I'm going to be modifying something for my son, uh, which I think is gonna be a really nice project. I'm gonna post it um, probably within the next month or so because it might take a little bit of time for me to do that, but I'm printing gears right now. I'm prototyping them for the next project, and that is why I believe that this tool, this 3D printing is really a great tool for whatever it is that you want to do all your do-it-yourself projects or in industry, you could print items and sell them. And I just really think it's a great thing to have. So I'm going to be experimenting over the next months with different prints and really nailing down how to get it 
as perfect as possible and creating functional parts. So stay tuned for more videos and keep watching. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. I'm gonna be posting more videos, more do-it-yourself videos, and let's see what this 3D printer can really do.